Hello everybody, Swami Nath here. Today we are going to see SAP MMS4 on a complex scenario. It's a project execution, live project execution. I'm going to show you in the live system. Okay, so what I have, I'm going to do is to create a serial number profile, transaction code OIS2. A serial number uniquely identifies a, an individual unit of the material. That is serial. Create a material, create batch management in MSC 1N, with a material, the material which was created, I'm going to create a batch batch. A batch are uniquely identified with attributes like manufacturing date, expiry date, available from date, etc. Now I'm going to create a purchase order, ME21N transaction code, and pack the material in bl 31 n And I'm going to do goods received in bl 2 n bl 32 n This transaction is bl 32 and finally, I'm going to check the event and invoice certificate. This is PL32. Not 02. This is pl 32 n Now let's go to the system. I'm going to create a OIS2 transaction for OIS2. Now I'm going to take it from Z666. Z666. See here. Purchasing. Copy S. I'm going to do copy S. Z, 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 Z. Now press enter, enter, and let me save this. Already exists. Z, triple three. Press enter, and let me save this. Copy all. Z, triple three. Continue. And save it. Save it. Now let's go to slash and MM0. I want to create a material. This is mechanical engineering and material type. Raw metal. Press enter. Enter. RA11 is my plant. Transaction plant is RA11. Storage location RA11. RA11. Press enter. RA11. Now, batch managed. Batch managed. And serial profile material base unit of measure each material group zero select anything or select it from the menu here. Menu here. This is my material. This is my material. Press enter, enter, enter. I missed out. MRP type, no MRP. I missed out this. In the purchasing, go to the purchasing. I have to select the batch. I have to select the batch here. Batch. Batch management. Press enter. 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 Now, scroll down. Here, I'm going to select serial profile. Z333. Let me select it from the menu, which I have created it now. Z333. Scroll down. See here, Z triple three. Press enter. Let me enter the valuation class. Three thousand is my valuation class. Let me enter standard price, same price, and enter and save. Zero one is my availability check and save. Now. This is my material. Let me enter. Go to slash and MSC one end. I'm going to create a batch for this material. My plant is RAL. Storage location is also RAL. Okay, click on to the button. Okay. Here, all these three attributes: date of manufacture, first of June, shelf life expiry date. If it is put three months. September 30th or 29th. Available from date. 30th of this month. All these three attributes has been assigned to this batch. All these three attributes are assigned to this batch. Now let me save this. I just saved it. Now go to slash in ME21. I'm going to create a purchase order. Purchase order. 
order confirmation with the supplier. Select the supplier, enter the supplier, purchase organization, purchasing group. Let me enter the material here. This is the material which I have created it now. Now enter quantity, go to the right. Let me enter the plant, RA11 is my plant. Let me enter storage location, RA11. Let me enter net price, 1000 USD. Go to the right, select the batch here. Go to select the batch here. Enter. This is the batch which I have created it now. 4301. Let me check that batch also. MSC 2N. MSC 2N. See here, this is the batch. This is the batch which I have created. I am just selecting it here. And let me save this. Before saving it, go to the confirmation. I need to pack the material. Confirmation. Click on to the confirmation here. And let me save this. Let me save this. Save. This is my PO. Let me take this PO. Let me take this PO. This is my PO. Now go to VL31. Go to slash and VL31. Transaction code VL31. If purchase order has been adapted here, VL31. Press enter. Now let me go to the right. To check whether the batch has been adapted here. It is not adapted here. See here, the batch has got adapted here. Now, serial serialization for all the 10 material, I have to do serial, serial numbers assignment. Select this, go to edit, go to click on to this, go to item. Now click onto this packing, click onto packing. Let me enter the packing, packing material. Select both the line item and click onto pack. And compare, I have to select the serial numbers here. Click onto, go to item. Header, it will, it will not be in the header. Let me save this first. Let me save this. VL32, let's go to VL32 and save it. Go to, see here inbound delivery has been created. Now go to slash and VL32N. VL32N, press enter. Now click on to, go to item. Select this. Go to enter. Okay, where on my list shift button? Let me do post code issue. Press enter. See it requires ten serial numbers for the asset. Now come back. We have to assign the serial numbers. Go to the header. Not here. Select item. Go to extras here. Serial numbers, select serial numbers, create it automatically, create it automatically. Now, continue and post goods issue, post, post goods result, click on to post goods result, press end. It's been locked at this time because I have opened this. Come back. Slash and to come back, click on the slash and to come back. Come back. Post goods reserve. Click on to post goods. Present. 
This is the material document. See here, material document. 49000 Go to slash and MIGO to check the serial numbers and check the material. Material batch number. 496. Press enter. I have to check the serial numbers and batches. See here. Batch. Batch has been created here. Batch on serial numbers has been created for this material. And what is the batch? This is the batch. 437 is by batch. Now I'm going to do slash an MIRO for invoice certification. GB10 is my company code. MIRO. Let me enter the invoice date. Calculate tax. Purchase order number. Let me enter the purchase order number here. This is my purchase order. Let me enter the purchase order number here. 11800. It's my amount. Which here. This is here. Enter the baseline date and save it. This is the complex scenario I have worked with. Thank you.